I've heard that the Arsenal team is very well trained. Is that true? Well trained? Yeah, as a oh, yeah. police force. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. They yeah. take a lot of pride in, in uh, yes. one of the finest police organizations in the world, I've heard. Well, apparently, uh, like I said, uh, when you live close to it in Canada, the way you do, uh, you know, you see the bad with the good, but the, the myth of the RCMP isn't necessarily a myth because, uh, like I said, it's made up of a lot of very, very professional people. And, uh, uh, but like any large corporation or business, uh, the top end, the seniority, or what we call the, uh, the, the intellectual property, retire. And the, and the people come up from underneath. So it's a constant learning change, sure. even for upper management. Yes. Because uh, in, the, in the RCMP, everybody starts off as a constable and, and doesn't get promoted to the commission ranks, as an example, unless they've been through the system. So they usually have between 15 and 20 years service before that happens. So they, they have a lot of corporate knowledge. And then that corporate knowledge drops off, and then the next wave comes along. And so it's always a learning curve. The, the current commissioner of the RCMP, I'm going to guess, but I, I, I doubt very much if he has 25 years service. Highly educated, but uh, was commissioned uh, quite early in his career, and now he's the commissioner, and he's uh, so he's what you might call new blood and trying to inject uh, a better image of the force. That must be difficult at times, you know. It's you're, a big ship to turn around. Bureaucracy. It's like trying to turn a, a ship around in a canal. It's exactly. It's big, and it, it's an organization that has a culture that's paramilitary. Uh, in other words, semi-military, uh, marching and training and all that sort of thing. And and so it's um, it's difficult to change uh, cultures in the army or the RCMP or any large corporation. It doesn't matter whether it would be IBM or if it has a culture, it takes years and years Absolutely. to change it. And sometimes it never gets changed. Yes. Tremendous amount of influence. Mm -hmm. Things have to align. The moon and the stars yeah. have to align sometimes yeah. on some days where you have to get lucky sometimes. Yep. Yep. I'll make you a deal. If you ever publish your stories, yes. we have an audio booth. I would love it to do the audio portion. And then people can listen to your stories on their smartphones. Oh really? Okay. Well, I've written a couple, and we'll. T how about we do a test run Absolutely. with a couple of stories that I've written, and then we'll see how that goes. And then, eventually, I may get uh, ambitious enough to sit down and and write a hundred stories. Sure. Have you got a business card? I do not. Okay. Well, why don't I'm we retired. take your information off air, and then we'll get together. You may. Oh, Alan, I have really enjoyed this interview. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Oh, my my pleasure. Thank so you. Let's get your information here.